go, sir. So Thank I need you. to drink with your beer. So comedy. Mm. Where did you start? When I was growing up, all of my heroes were stand-ups. There was that boom in like the late 90s where Eddie Izzard and Sean Hughes, they were like my rock and roll, really. So there was a sense like these guys really were rock stars. And I'd grown up basically showing off. Like, <laughs> That's why I'm the landlord. Is it? Do you like showing <laughs> there's, off? There's a lot of similar, there is a bit, bit of performance art, you know, behind a bar. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I've worked a lot of pubs. When I, from all my teenage years, I worked in pubs. And when you start doing stand-up, you're mainly working in pubs. Mm. So I feel very at home here. So where did the break come? I was working at the Science Museum teaching kids science. Um, because it was one of those jobs I could do where I, I could do that without having to bring any of it home. You know, I just went there every day, so it meant that for the evenings I could be out doing stand-up every night. And then I did a thing on Dave that was this stand-up kind of improv thing, mm. some of it improvised, some of it not, called Argumental. And then on that show we had Dara O'Brien and Jimmy Carr and Frankie Boyle and um, Sean Hughes. And then from that just was sort of viewed within TV circles as being you know, a comedian who you could have on your show. How much stand-up are you doing? Do you do... do well, you that's do it, any? none no, now. No touring, no... The opportunity to do this uh, little play in Soho came up and from that I got One Man, Two Governors. And that was being able to use all of the skills of stand-up, really. One Man, Two Governors, I mean, it's a real hybrid between talking to the audience yeah. and kind of doing the stuff. And then um, I just... I felt insanely comfortable, and it meant that I hadn't had to write it, was the main thing. <laughs> now, you know, there's plans afoot to do Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Freddy. which is singing You're playing Freddie, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And it is based on a movie that had Steve Martin, who's one of the all-time stand-up greats, so... But of course, we now know where your future lies, don't we? Which is? On the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, was, did that come out of the blue to you? Well, kind of. I went in, had a meeting, one thing and another, I ended up dancing with Flavia Cacaccia, learning the tango from like, you know, a world champion. Your wife was okay with that, of course. Well, yeah. Flavia is such a good egg. Get you another Rufus. Thank you very much. Which brings us on to pubs and beer, doesn't it? Oh, yes. When you do stand up, you're traveling around like pub to pub, especially in the early days. So those tours meant that you could drink real beer and all of the local breweries and, and see which ones you liked and which ones you were a bit less keen. And you were always keen to try. I, I was 21 when I started doing comedy and then probably by the age of about 28 was where I really started like drinking proper beer. I think that's what's happened in the beer industry. Yeah. It's always been the drink to be enjoyed over a, co over a conversation <laughs> yeah. in the pub where it's part of the experience of socialising rather than the be all and end all. And if you look now at the variety and the choice, it's just become phenomenal. Here's to you. Cheers. Cheers. In three words, I would describe myself as irritating, overly confident, I'm using the hyphen there, and lucky. Best superhero power? Is it invisibility? Is it the power to fly? Is it the ability to rewind history? It's the last one. Time rewind. Kelly, Fern and Holly, snog, marry, avoid. Uh, I, would, I would avoid Kelly because she was on it when I wasn't on it. I don't really know her. <whistles> Political also. I think she's probably a bit of an idiot. I would snog, Fern and marry Holly. Am I a dog or a cat person? I called myself Rufus Hound. What do you think the answer to this is? Asterisk. I actually own two cats and no dogs. 